Shalom, my friends. Mark 16, 16. He who has believed and has been immersed shall be saved. But he who has not believed shall be condemned. You'll notice, <laughs> that's Yeshua talking, and you'll notice that he didn't say, but he who has not been immersed shall be condemned. Uh, a lot of, a lot of people out there, naturally, throughout the ages, have taught you know you have to be baptized to be saved. Um, a lot of times they'll cite that verse, um, and you know, baptism is mandatory to being saved. Uh, you can look at Acts 2.38, Acts 22.16, uh, John 3.5, of course Mark 16.16, 16, 16, uh, Romans 6.4, 1 Peter 3.21. Those are the uh, scriptures that are often used to uh, tell people that uh, <clears throat> you have to be baptized or you're not saved. Um, but, you know, those scriptures only prove that baptism was an assumed initiatory response to the good news. It doesn't say, um, you know, be baptized and you'll be saved. I mean, you know, we just read and Yeshua said, those who believe and our baptized will be saved. Um, but those who don't believe, and he didn't mention baptism, only those who don't believe will be condemned. Um, Acts, Ma'aseh, chapter 2, verse 21, And it shall be that everyone who calls on the name of Yahweh shall be saved. Doesn't, mention baptism. So, you know, I want to get that out of the way because um, it's an all too common thing, if you ask me, that um, people who are seeking a relationship, a true relationship with Elohim, they're looking to own it got to be baptized to be saved. Oh, good, you know, I'll get baptized, boom, I'm done, I'm saved. You got to say the prayer of salvation, and then, you know, you're done, you're born again. Uh, you know, then you own it. No, you know, <laughs> get this idea of ownership out of your head. It's, um, it's a trick used by the enemy that works well with those who don't really have a strong relationship with the Father and His Word. Uh, those who may have the indwelling Ruach HaKodesh, but are not receiving the filling um, you don't own anything when it comes to Elohim. You don't get saved and you're done and you own it. I own salvation. I've been saved. I don't have to do anything else. I'm all done. Um, you know, I've been baptized. That's it. I'm saved. I'm done. Now, you know, I can just forget about the Father, forget about His Word. I'm done. That's the bad thing about this ownership idea. I talked about this um, when I uh, recently uh, did a video on the gifts of the Ruach. Which gift do you have? Uh, you know, oh, I have, the, uh, I have the gift of healing. Like, you know, I own that. And I pointed out, no. You have the indwelling Ruach, and he may use you one day. 
uh, and impart the gift of healing to you and you'll experience that but uh, you don't own it you don't have that gift permanently people reading the word this one has this gift that one has given another gift to this one is given that gift and to that one is given this gift and people say oh they were given it and now they own it that's not what it's saying this one is given this gift that one is given another gift in this particular moment on this particular day tomorrow it's another story same thing that this is the message I want to bring to you in terms of baptism. You don't get baptized and then you're saved and you're done. Drop that idea. Uh, let's let go of this ownership thing. You know, um, uh, Cornelius's family received the Ruach and were manifesting the gifts before they were baptized. Look at uh, Acts, Maaseh, chapter 10, verses uh, 44 through 48. Um, and of course, in verse 48, they did get baptized, but they received the Ruach first. Um, and, uh, you know, the point is that bapti baptism or immersion is the better term to use, uh, did not save them. Believing in Yeshua is what saved them. Belief. Uh, again, in, in Acts, look at chapter 10, verse 43. And like Yeshua said, those who believe and are baptized are saved. But those who don't believe are condemned. He didn't say those who are not baptized are condemned. He said those who don't believe are condemned. Uh, the two thieves on the stake when Yeshua was on the stake, the one on his right and the one on his left, um, you know, the one recognized him as Mashiach, did Yeshua look at him and say, have you been baptized first? You know, before I can say that today that you'll be with me in paradise, you know. He didn't ask him if he was baptized. Um, so, um, you know, if you're asking the question, do we have to be baptized to be saved? My answer is no. This is promoted by um, those who have doctrines and organizations and they want you to join and they want that ownership of you as a member. Um, baptism is a cool thing, but understand it. Uh, look at Luke, Lucas, chapter 3, verse 3. Uh, Lucas came, or rather, uh, Yochanan, the immerser, came um, and was delivering the immersion of repentance. This is probably the, the starter kit, if you will, when it comes to immersion. Um, it's where you confess your sins and uh, you're immersed and when you come up it's a new life you know you're you're confessing that you're a sinner and that you want to make a change and you know um, in the scriptures we see people you know being immersed they did this on a, you know uh, not frequently but from time to time they would be immersed to rededicate themselves. It was a personal act of rededication. And I believe that that's what Yeshua was saying when he says, go out there and, you know, immerse them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Ruach HaKodesh. Um, they confess belief in Yeshua and then immersed to make that rededication. Um, but first, there's the immersion of repentance. There, you know, I have five different types of baptism here. Number one is immersion for repentance, or immersion of repentance. You, uh, and, you know, you can baptize yourself. You don't have to go to, you know, where are you going to go to get baptized? Is there like the... Uh, Baptism Hall of Yahweh somewhere? <laughs> you 
Do you have to go to a church? Uh oh, you know, now you're getting involved in, you know, you got to join our church or we won't baptize you. You know, you got to be a member here. Uh, no, you can baptize yourself or, um, hallelujah, if you're a man, head of a household, baptize your wife, baptize your children. It's not just once, this is not an ownership thing. Right, they're all baptized, they're saved, now I can go, you know, whatever. No. Uh, you know, it's kind of like, um, maybe you... Oh, this would be wonderful, you know, if you're sitting with your wife and your t children and you're teaching them the Father's Word as you're commanded to do as a man, as a husband, as a father. And um, maybe you've all had a new revelation in uh, your relationship with the Father, your relationship with each other concerning your relationship with the Father. Great. Fill up the bathtub. <laughs> Go out in the pool. Uh, you know, baptize your wife and your children. Pardon me. Immerse them. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's always an act of uh, rededication. So, um, you know, it starts with immersion of repentance. Um, after that has been done, then there could be the immersion into the body of Mashiach. Type number two, immersion into the body of Mashiach. Look at Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 13. This is where, again, it's a dedication. You're making Yeshua your Adon, your master. It's a dedication. Yeshua, the son, the bane of Yahuwah, is my Adon, or I would say Yeshua, Adonai, my master. Uh, <clears throat> and if you, you know, if somebody comes to that point in their life, you know, I'm serious. I, you know, I've got a new understanding about all this and I want Yeshua. Uh, I, I want him to be the master of my life, not me, not anybody else. So you do an immersion. You can immerse yourself. Go in the shower. You don't have to be dunked. You know, you're taking a bath, you know, dunk yourself. You're taking a shower. Get under that water and talk to the Father. Number three, immersion in water. This is for believers. It does not wash away sins. It is a rededication to turn, to repent, you know, the word repent simply means turn around and go back to the source, Yahuwah. Back to the source, Chadam, the beginning, the very beginning, Him, the Father. Um, but immersion in water, that's, uh, it's a rededication for believers. After the immersion of repentance, and after the immersion into the body of Mashiach. Um, and this is, you know, immersion in, in, in water for believers. It doesn't wash away sins. It's a rededication. It's done from time to time. This is the stuff we see, you know, in the scriptures. Uh, you know, people just didn't get, get dunked only one time. They would do it whenever there was a turn to be made in their lives, a rededication. Yeshua was baptized in water, but without repentance, there is no repentance in, in him, he had no sin. Number four, immersion into the Ruach HaKodesh. Immersion into his spirit. This is done for us by Yeshua. As Yochanan, the immerser, said, he says, there's one who's coming after me, he, he immerses you in the Spirit. I'm doing it in water. These are different immersions, different types of baptism. Um, immersion into the Ruach HaKodesh. It's not something you do yourself. It's got nothing to do with water. It's something that Yeshua does. 
he immerses us in his Ruach and uh, I believe it's done from time to time similar as the uh, immersion in water um, because you know if you let's say you do um, uh, the immersion into the body of Mashiach and you make him your Adon your master uh, at that point he is going to immerse you in his Ruach and you will have his indwelling Ruach but uh, you look at the parable of the ten virgins uh, they all came to meet the Adnon they all had lamps they all had the light in them they all had oil in their lamps Oil represents the Ruach HaKodesh. They all had the Ruach. Five, the five of them had more oil than the other five. Hello? Five had, you know, you receive the indwelling Ruach, but then, again, you know, get away from this ownership thing. I'm done. Oh, I've been baptized in the Ruach. I've received the indwelling Ruach. I'm done. No, no, no. You continue seeking him through his word and in prayer, and he continues to immerse you in his Ruach, and you afterwards start receiving the filling of the Ruach. The five virgins who had more oil, they had more of the filling of the Ruach. They were received by the Adon. The others, they had the light, they had the Ruach. But the door was closed. What does that mean? People talk about the net chatef. That's the Aramaic Hebrew. Harpazo in Greek. Rapture in Latin. Eh, all believers are going to be taken up. I don't think so, my friends. That's the, to me, that's what the parable of the ten virgins is all about. Those who really have the filling of the Ruach are going to be taken. And I can go into a deeper study of that and say some of those who are taken, there's a group that's going to be taken out of that group. That's the bride. Not all believers are the bride. Not all those who are in the Net Chatef are the bride. Some of those in the Net Chatef are the bride. Anyway, um... I'm getting off topic. Uh, number four was immersion into the, the Ruach. And last, number five, is immersion by fire. I was immersed by fire this year when I was in the hospital. <laughs> this is only for true believers. This is only for those who really have been receiving the filling of the Ruach, mature believers. Um, most believers don't want to go through immersion by fire. Um, this is where Elohim allows certain ones to pass through serious sufferings. Yeshua. <laughs> Yeshua on the stake. Immersion by fire. Um, what, what I went through, you know, uh, this year, my hospital experience, I do my best to share it with you in my book. Um, <laughs> but really, uh, it's not something that's easily shared. Elohim allows certain ones to pass through serious sufferings that give honor and esteem to the Father. Um, the doctors, they told all my loved ones, you know, uh, he, he's got three months or less to live. They were all freaking out. I was, you know, I was seeing people I hadn't seen in a you know, They're all coming, you better go see Alan, you know, this is it, he's dying, you know. I wanted to tell him, oh, you didn't know I was dying to see you. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, the doctors told me, you know, 
various things. And the Ruach told me this is not true. Don't listen. Don't believe it. I couldn't share that, you know. Um, others were looking and... And anyway, you know, I, I went through that fire, came out unscathed, and still there are those who don't see it. They, they don't recognize it. Nonetheless, that's between them and the Father, you know, but anyway, that's uh, immersion by fire is where the Father allows you to go through some serious suffering um, for the purpose of revealing himself to you I mean, you know, in, in some ways, yeah, I went through serious sufferings. In other ways, I, I, I didn't suffer at all. I, 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 that's hard to explain. Both those things are true. Um, but he reveals himself to you, and the whole thing brings esteem and glory to him because you see miracles. It, things happen that don't make any sense in the world. Um, so, uh, you know, do we have to be baptized to be saved? No. That's not what that's about. That's what churches and doctrines of men are all about, where they're trying to get people to uh, look to them uh, as their adon or as their source. No. Uh, baptism is something. I mentioned uh, the five types. There's immersion of repentance. There's immersion into the body of Mashiach. Immersion in water for believers. It's a rededication of various, you know, things. Uh, immersion into the Ruach HaKodesh. You don't do anything with that. That's Yeshua does that uh, with you in accordance with how much you're seeking Him. And then, finally, immersion by fire. You don't do anything there either. That's something the Father does with you. Um, when you've been immersed in the Ruach enough. <laughs> so I hope that answers your question, uh, and I hope that helps. You know, you don't have to have somebody else dunk you. You can, you can immerse yourself. You can do it in the bathtub, you can do it in the swimming pool, you can do it in a river, the ocean, in the shower, um, and hopefully... You fathers and husbands out there, immerse your loved ones. <laughs> Shalom, my friends.